Hey, what's up guys, Mashin here. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is the full case investing guide for 2022. Now, historically, cases have been the best investment overall. We've seen a lot of cases that have gone from 3 cents and 50 X into $1.50 with relative ease. Today, we're gonna be breaking down everything to do with cases, my best picks for cases right now, and what I think are the worst investments for cases right now. Let's hop on into it. Now, first off, I gotta start off with what I think is probably the worst place to be putting your money in my opinion, and that's going to be prime drops. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm invested into the clutch case, which is something in the prime drops, but I'm not actively buying more of it. In my opinion, I think the prime drops have really been an oversaturated investment and are going to struggle significantly moving forward. This can easily be seen with the danger zone and the prisma graphs both on screen right now. You can see how both of them completely overshot when you see the case was removed, and that's very obvious to see because it's the only big peak these cases have and it slowly starts to fall off until you get to a price point that's relatively similar to what the case was at when it was in the prime drop pool. Now, both of these cases are still heavily listed on the market, and they still have a large future ahead of them as well. In my opinion, though, I think you'd be better off waiting until you see what case actually goes into the rare drop pool, just because there's so many people invested into it, and the price is almost guaranteed to peak and collapse, and honestly, I think your money's gonna be better off somewhere else, considering, at least in my opinion, you're going to be able to buy in for a very similar price point later. The other group I highly suggest you avoid investing into is cases with a really low ROI. Now, this one is a little bit harder to distinguish because it's not as blanket of a statement that fits because you can see on the screen right now, the glove case has the second lowest ROI, but generally speaking, the glove case has had a pretty decent return. This one, I think you should definitely be using more critical thinking skills than the last. In my opinion, the glove case only squeaks in because the Hydra case is so expensive and it's still got a pretty low ROI. Under 40%, as you can see on screen right now. Personally, at this point, I wouldn't be picking up any of these investments. I think you're definitely going to be having more success elsewhere, but I could definitely see the argument for at least the glove case. The other three at this point, the Hydra case, the Bravo case, and the Esports 2013 case are all relatively rare and they're not opened up too much. So at this point, it would definitely be iffy investing in on it, in my opinion. After that, we got to talk about the best pickups to be making right now, at least in my opinion. First up, we've got the Shadow Case. Now, the Shadow Case has really had a reputation of being terrible. I mean, you can just see it by the price of those knives, that this is not the case you're opening up expecting to get a knife, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be a bad investment. First off, it's got a really good ROI. You can see here it's the fifth best case for a return on investment opening percentage, coming in at around 63%, which is very nice, and a lot of people are opening this up, not expecting that rare special item, but hoping to get that USPS kill confirmed since it is very expensive. You combine this with the fact that we've got around 30,000 listed on the market but we're seeing over 150,000 unboxed every month. In my opinion, the shadow case is definitely one that we could start to see double in price in a month or two once the hype actually starts to go to it. Now, the next two are a little bit higher in price point than I would want to be for a desirable investment, but we're getting to the point with case investing that there's not too many cheap investments out there that really show a ton of potential. Second up here, we've got the Chroma 3 case. Now, I do think the Chroma 3 case definitely is a little bit overvalued, but but with its current price point around 50 cents, I do think you might be able to grab a solid pickup. Now, I chose the Chroma 3 case for two big reasons. First up, it's the cheapest of the Chroma collection. Chroma 2, Chroma 1 are a little bit more expensive, but most importantly, it's getting almost a million unboxed a month, which is absolutely crazy for a case that is this late into its career. You can see here that 900,000 were unboxed in May, and the numbers are very similar month after month. You go ahead, combine this with the fact that we've only got around 65,000 listings on the market, and I do think the Chroma 3 case definitely has that potential to reach that 75 or 80 cent mark without too much of a hassle. Now, finally, to wrap up my best three in this moment, I go with the Operation Phoenix weapon case. Now, I do think the Phoenix weapon case is one that's really been undervalued for quite a long time. In my opinion, it's very similar to the glove or the breakout and how big of a staple it is in the game, and the price point it has right now I don't think reflects the true value of the case. With a buy order, you can pick this up for $1.16, which is a crazy low price point in my opinion. Now, in the case itself, it's got a really good selection of items. You've got your AK Redline and your Op Asimov, two of the biggest skin staples in the game. 
game. Plus, it's also got that family of the rare OG knives, which at a dollar. 15 is really not a terrible price point. There's a couple cases that come under it, but it's definitely one of the cheaper cases. As you can see here, only the Vanguard and the Revolver come in under it, and the Vanguard is still pretty decently close. And finally, to wrap up with the Phoenix case, it's got the fourth highest ROI, which is really crazy when you consider that the breakout is really low and the glove case is even lower. Moving on into our next section, we're going to be talking about rare cases. Now, rare cases pretty much makes up every single case in CSGO other than the active drop pull and the discontinued cases. This means that it's almost every single case. This is very important because when you're looking into investing into a rare case, you're probably going to have a much higher price point than you could have got in a year ago. Now that doesn't mean you're going to have a bad investment, just means there's not as much profit left on the table, so you need to be very strategic about what you're investing into. In my opinion, the biggest thing is how many cases are being unboxed per month. You can see on Reddit, it's very easily to find, and I'll show you here as well. We're looking at the main numbers here, but there's a lot of discrepancies and differences when you're looking at the listings on the market compared to how many are actually being unboxed. This is why it's very important that you compare everything and not just look at the overall listings on the market because that's going to give you a very bad perspective on what's actually going on here. The other thing is I would check how long the case was in the active drop pool for before it went into the rare drop pool because that's also going to affect how many cases are out there which is the other big factor. We got to look at the quantity and looking at the Steam market listings is not going to give you a truly accurate perspective. It is going to give you a little insight, but I would still check out how long the case was in active duty for. And then finally, the last thing we got to talk about is discontinued cases because they are potentially a really good investment. The Riptide case has tripled in price from its all-time low, and now it's at around $1.50 maximum, which is crazy considering that's the best investment we've seen case-wise in the past year. The biggest thing about discontinued cases is making sure you know actually what cases are discontinued because I've had a decent amount of people in the past tell me a specific case is in the discontinued drop pool, or rather not drop at all and they are just incorrect believing that every operation case is discontinued. It's actually only been the past three which is Shattered Web, Operation Riptide, and Broken Fang. Without knowing specifically which cases are discontinued and which are not, it can lead you into a pretty disappointing investment when you realize that it did not turn out the way you thought it was because there's still more cases coming into the game. Other than that, for discontinued cases, there's not really too much more to say. Just be careful, look at the unboxing numbers for them. The one good thing is obviously there will never be more supply added, but that doesn't mean that the supply is still small. There's a lot of supply for every single one of these discontinued cases, and it's definitely relevant in some of their price points. But that's really all I have for today, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.